Where do you see headphones going in the future? More expensive. Better. People are demanding better quality every day. And I think that suddenly, within the last couple of years, we've noticed a shift in the trend in the industry where people are realizing, finally, that things like Beats are actually not good earphones. They're just very good marketing. There's quality out there, and it's becoming more affordable, and so I think that the answer is better. Well, I, I really think that the thing that's gonna happen with headphones over the, let's say, 10 years from now, is that they'll do more virtual surround of being around your head, less and less inside your head. That's the future of headphones. I think the future of headphones is going to be binaural recording, it'll be virtual reality. I think as gaming gets better and binaural recordings get better, we're going to have real 3D immersion and it's going to be virtual audio. Uh, we will have more smart headphones, uh, more, they move towards more digital connections. So you could utilize DSP, DACs and uh, stuff like that in line or inside the headphone. I think 3D audio will also be um, quite big. Uh, I think there's going to be more uh, varied models for people of different demographics, people who want stuff um, to be wireless and to be Bluetooth. I think all that stuff's going to go to the next level. I'm sure they'll work it into virtual reality more. Um, but I also see the audiophile side of things growing as well with big wired headphones, of course. So the future of headphones, it, to me, is t entirely unknown. Um, it's difficult to say what sort of new materials are going to be available and what sort of new types of digital signal processing may be available. And those things are gonna really drive what's possible in headphones. So what I try to do is just keep my eyes and ears open to what's out there um, just in the marketplace, in the industrial side of building products and figure out what things are relevant and what things can be applied to headphones uh, to make them better. But there's a lot of crazy stuff happening today with artificial intelligence um, and with AR and VR that I think are really gonna be the drivers of what people look for in a headphone experience. So the best thing I can do is just keep my finger on the pulse of all that stuff and you know, figure out when the time is right to start implementing new materials, new technologies. I think they're going to get smarter and more complex. I think there's going to be more features added. We will think of headphones in the future kind of like our phones are today. They're not for phone calls even though they're still called phones. Future of headphones. Um, I think we're in the middle of the future of headphones. I mean, they seem to be getting better fast. Um, there's a lot of cool things like if you look at Focal and the headphones they made, I think that's an example of headphones getting better. Uh, some great acoustic engineers who made speakers decided to get into headphones and it ended up working out real well. Um, and, and, uh, and engineering seems to be of um, greater importance now, proper engineering, than, than, than I think in the past. I know Tile was certainly the first to do headphone measurements and publish them. And I think that's really driven a lot of companies to pay closer attention to the engineering. And we are now doing measurements on HeadFi as well. We built an entire measurement lab as well. So um, uh, uh, yeah, so I think the audio engineering is driving better products. So I think we're in the middle of it. As far as the future goes though, I, I think that two-channel audio enthusiasts, headphone audio enthusiasts are still gonna continue to be two-channel headphone audio enthusiasts. You and I were talking earlier and you don't really hear people here at CanJam listening to a headphone coming out of it and saying, oh, that was amazing but I wish it was out ahead, right? I think we've accepted what headphone imaging is, and as headphone audio files, we're totally cool with that. Um, uh, but then there'll be this whole other world with 3D audio and things like that, maybe for other things like gaming, other types of entertainment, even education, and some music, um, virtualized concerts, things, or, or, or virtual reality concerts, uh, 360. Uh, so there'll be this whole other thing, but I think the dedicated music listening that we do as audiophiles will still be dominated by two channel listening. I think this is what we're cool with. Regarding the future of headphones, I think that what we're seeing is the future, which is a proliferation of different technologies uh, packaged up in different ways and different functions that are kind of increasingly specific. And so what we're seeing is more and more products that are kind of at the low to mid range that have very specific uses like um, for being on travel when you're on uh, subways or trains when you're a commuter uh, or uh, even underwater applications and at the high end technology is pushing and pushing and pushing and we're seeing 
better and better sound, which is moving down into more affordable headphones. And so I think what we'll see is a broader diversity of applications and, and even at lower price points, increasing sound quality, which hopefully is great for everyone.